ऑर्गनीजम फर् फुड The examples of autotrophic nutrition is green plants. The example of heterotrophic nutrition is animals. The organism which prepare their own food are called autotrophic nutrition and the organism which depend on the other organism for food is called heterotrophic nutrition the examples of autotrophic nutrition is green plants and the examples of heterotrophic nutrition is animals now we will discuss in detail about the autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition and its differences <laughs> nutrition means it prepares its own food it is a one of the difference but in heterotrophic nutrition it depends on another organism carbon dioxide water and sunlight to prepare its own food but in heterotrophic nutrition it doesn't take the carbon dioxide water and sunlight to prepare its own food green plants undergo autotrophic mode of autotrophic mode of nutrition in heterotrophic nutrition animals will go the heterotrophic type of mode of nutrition so i'm repeating again autotrophic nutrition means a prepare its own food and in heterotrophic nutrition it doesn't depend on it depends on another organism for food it utilizes the carbon dioxide water and sunlight to prepare its own food it doesn't depend on carbon dioxide water and sunlight to prepare its own food example is green plants the examples of heterotrophic nutrition is animals Coming to the next topic, photosynthesis. This photosynthesis mainly takes place in green plants. It is a type of autotrophic nutrition. In these green plants, the chlorophyll pigment is present. The chlorophyll pigment is responsible for preparing its own food. So, the chlorophyll, the green plants will take the sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. This, by using this pigment, it utilizes all these and convert into the sugar into in the form of starch. it releases oxygen and sugar the oxygen is entered into the air and sugar is converted into the starch this starch is converted by using sugar and stored in the leaves chlorophyll pigment will take the sunlight water and carbon dioxide and gives the oxygen and sugar the oxygen is entered into the air and remaining sugar which is present is converted into starch this starch stored in the leaves and helpful and it prepares its own food this is called photosynthesis now reaction we will see
This is the reaction of photosynthesis. It needs six molecules of carbon dioxide and 12 molecules of water in the presence of light by using chlorophyll. It converts into glucose. It is a sugar starch and releases oxygen and water. This oxygen is entered into the air. This sugar molecule is converted into starch and stored in the leaves at night it utilizes the food when it needs. This is a reaction of photosynthesis. Now we will learn photosynthesis and what we will learn about photosynthesis. This starch is produced in the starch. We will learn about the plant in this experiment. By using this presence of starch experiment, we can identify whether the starch is present in the leaf or not. We can identify. To do this experiment, we need a leaf with soft, thin, and which is exposed to sunlight. Manam soft ga thin ga ere te sunlight ke expose hai ni unna leaf unntundo adhi manam this koli experiment ke. E leaf manam oka boiling tube lo face ko wali. E boiling tube ओके बी कर लो बेटा ले अब बी कर कि वाटर आच्छाल ये बी कर फ्लेम बाय यूजिंग दिस फ्लेम वी शुड प्लेस दिस बी कर दिस लीफ शुड बी टेकन इनटू द बॉयलिंग ट्यूब व्हिच वाज कंटेन इन अ बी कर विथ वाटर इन दिस बॉयलिंग ट्यूब वी शुड ऐड मिथाइलेटेड स्पिरिट This boiling should was filled with methylated spirit. After some time, after boiling this tube, the leaf is changed to pale white color. This pale col white color is produced due to the presence of chlorophyll. By boiling the leaf in the methylated spirit, it changes its color to pale white due to the presence of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll undadam valla, e leaf pale white ga maartundi. Eppudu methylated spirit lo vesi boil chesin appudu pale white color lo maartundi due to the presence of chlorophyll. After some time, we should remove this leaf and place in the petri dish. This petri dish, we should place this leaf in this petri dish. We should add tincture of iodine. We should add iodine solution on this leaf. This leaf will change into bluish black color. This changing in color indicates presence of starch. I put the iodine solution waste in a pool, 2 to 3 drops, 2 to 3 drops of iodine. When we add 2 to 3 drops of iodine, if the leaf will change into bluish black color, it resembles, it resembles the presence of starch. By this experiment, we can identify the, as the leaf contains starch. So, we can, uh, by the experiment of presence of starch, we can conclude that the leaf which contain undergo autotrophic nutrition due to the presence of starch. Even the nutrition topic lo manam autotrophic gurinchi, heterotrophic gurinchi tells kunam. Photosynthesis and presence of starch by using this experiment manam tells kunam. Next per experiment lo manam sunlight ela starch ki upayu parthundo tells kunam. E video me kuna chuna taite like chendi, share chendi. Ilanti marini videos kosam ma extreme telugu channel subscribe ches kondi. Mike mana doubts unte e topic lo comment box lo comment chendi.